Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list tutorial for beginners and this is part 7. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement pagination features to our WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WP list table. And also guys, I got a question from my channel is that what is a WP list table? So basically WP list table is a default tabular format actually WordPress provides. If you go to administrator panel, if you go to post section, so this is the table layout. This is not the third party library actually WordPress used. This is not a jQuery plugin actually WordPress used. This is a WordPress provided default WP list table. It is formed by a class actually we had seen from our first video session. There are some methods. By the help of those methods we have made these tables. So for the summary point of view guys WP list table is the WordPress default provided tabular format okay to store data so this is the actually question asked by one of the user from our channel okay so that's why actually I have explained that so just back to editor so basically guys this is the plugin so far that we have developed okay so this is the file that we have linked by the help of PHP buffer inside this function okay so just back to this file so far we have did several things in this file okay so if we go to administrator panel just go to OWT list table. So right now these are the dynamic data actually we have pulled from the post section. Okay. So we want the pagination features means we have some suppose hundred of records in our table. Okay. So we want put some pagination to this table. So how can we implement pagination feature? As we go to post section we can see the pagination features right as we can see so right now there is only eight records if we put suppose 50 to 100 records then it will show automatically the pagination features here okay so now we have not too much record in this post section so that's why pagination is not appearing okay so we want to control the pagination features to OWT listable so just back to editor so first of all guys just get rid of that just I'm going to cut this function from here and store this values inside a data's val variable okay so all I we have stored these values inside this data's okay and finally I am passing these data's right here okay so basically I'm going to define some of the parameters actually used in our pagination feature okay so first of all how many records we want to appear on our every page listing okay so we want that per page suppose we want three records okay per page we want three records it means that if we have one two three four five five records then it will make two page one page is of three and the second page is of two okay so we want to separate every pages with three different properties with three different records and in the next parameter we want to get the current page number okay so let's that current page equal to basically guys it WP list table provides one of more functions to get the current page number and this is something called this get page num okay so this is the function guys this is the method actually WP list table provides to get the current page number okay and now we have to count that how many datas we have so just going to count this so let's say that total items equal to let's say count and this is the array that we have to pass okay so we have three properties three variables that we have defined the three variables are first of all we have to define that how many records we want to show every page okay and we also want the current page number so this is the method that we have used and the third we have to count all the values inside this data's variable now next we have to use one of more methods from WP list table and something called set pagination args okay so let's say that this set pagination args inside this set pagination args guys we have to pass array values Okay. so first parameter we have to define something called total items okay so basically we have stored inside this variable so just I'm going to pass that and in the second parameter we have to pass called per page now we have to pass the per page value okay so right now we have said actually per page has three rows so let's say per page 
Okay, so successfully we have defined some of the parameters inside set pagination args where we have passed called total items and per page. Okay, so if we save this file, go to browser, reload this page. So now as we can see that guys, according to our records means we have separated our five records means three records per page. It means that the page has been divided into two sections. Okay, so if I click on this icon, so as we can see that this is the page attribute added in our query string. So this is the current page number. So right now we actually got all the records on these pages means the pagination features not working properly because we want that three records per page. But here we have all five records at a single page. So how can we handle these things? Okay, so just back to editor. So instead of this data's variable means this is the item section for data section. Okay. So instead of that we have to use called array slice. Okay. So let's see that array slice. Inside this array slice guys we have to pass the first parameter as the total items means the total arrays values. Okay. So this is called the arrays values. This data variable contains all of the values. Okay. So just I'm going to pass inside the first parameter second parameter we have to pass called the start section it means that we have to pass something value called current page let me pass that minus one and finally we have to multiply this section with per page okay let me explain why actually we are making this okay so this is called per page okay and finally at the last position we have to pass that how many records we want to show so we want to show called three records means per page Okay, so if we save this file, go to browser, reload this page. So now we have only two records in the second page. Okay, so if you go to first page, we have all our three records. Okay, so successfully guys, we have implemented our pagination feature. Means we want that three records appear on single page. So this is three records. If you go to second page, only two records we have. Okay, so if we add any of the new records inside this post section, it will automatically adjust it according to our pagination feature. Okay, so just back to editor, let me explain that why did with this type of situation in this array slice. Okay, so basically for the first page, for the first page we have the value called current page something called 1. Okay, so on the first page it means that 1 minus 1 it means that current page is 1 1 minus 1 results something 0 value okay and now if we multiply 0 into per page means 3 it will give the 0 value okay so we have sliced our array from 0 index to per page means 3 record okay means we have iterated 0 1 2 okay means first 3 index of our array values and this is our array Okay, so basically guys array slice tells us that we have to actually pick the data from this index to total number of elements to this from this array. Okay, so we have iterated from 0 to up to 3 elements means the 2 index. Okay, so this is the element that we have retrieved from our array. Okay, so in the second page we have got the page ID something called 2. Okay, this is the 2 value actually got from the query string something called page equal to 2. Okay, so this value stored inside this current page. So this is the method actually calculated or got the value of page. Okay, so on the second page 2 minus 1 it means that it has something value called 1. Okay, so 1 into 3 is something 3. Okay, so we have to actually iterate from third index means 3, comma 0, sorry 4 comma 5 okay these three elements that we have to pick from this array but right now we have only two elements left means either at the three position and the fourth position okay so basically on the second page we got only two records that is of three index and the four index okay so this is the implementation of guys pagination feature to our WP list table okay so if we add more records to WP post so let's say that let's say test post 11 okay so this is sample post click on publish add again let's say that test post 12 this is test post again if I publish again I'm clicking add new let's say that test post 13 this is sample post okay so if you go to OWT list table 
in this first page we got three records okay so if I click on second page we have now but I think guys that we have added actually more than five records okay so if you go to post section we have obviously more than five records okay so I think that we have a mistake to our WP list table okay so just back to editor so now this is the data section actually we are good getting from this method okay so just back to method now here is the post array that we are returning so if we make print r because we have obviously created more than five records okay so if we save that refresh this page if we inspect that so inside this d we have one two three four five okay actually it is giving only five records why so let me change the queries and this is the query I think executed okay so if I remove that so let's say all post equal to WPDB let's say get results inside this get results let's say that select asterisk from WPDB and post table okay where post type equal to post and post status should be something publish okay and also we want that order by its ID should be descending order okay so this is the query guys that we have written select all from our WP post table where post app equal to post post status equal to publish and order by a descending order okay so if we copy and let's say that print a uh, save this file refresh this page and now we have something we have now more than five records okay so this query is valid now so if we save this close this inspect reload this page and now we have 11 items okay so this is the pagination and this is the page 2 if you go to page 1 this is our three records okay go to second page third page and this is our fourth page okay so obviously 11 record means three records per page it means that we have divided into four sections okay so this is the pagination features of guys WP list table okay so the basic steps that we have to remember is something called these are the items that we have to define something called per page something called current page and the total items and finally by the help of set pagination ux method of WP list table we can actually make the pagination section and also this is the PHP function so by the help of array slice function we can actually make the pagination features in WP list table okay so I think guys I have made much more clear concept about the pagination features in WP list table so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day